Hi everyone, this is James from Venga TV. I'm here with a Genesis deck profile on the CO Idrasil Genesis Legion from the Extra Booster. It's not a new deck, it's a pretty old deck, but I just managed to get my hands on it really, really cheap because like GBO2 is coming out, so everybody trying to sell off their old decks, and which I got this. So uh, I'll just start with the starter. The starter has the effect of a uh, Forerunner, of course, and also the other fact is that when your Vanguard is in Legion, you get to move her into Soul and uh, Soul Charge 3, then give your Vanguard 5k power. So it's a very, very good effect because it moves 4 cards into the Soul instantly, which uh, is like 60% of your cost for each sale done. And, but however, it's a Legion only um, skill, so that means it's a very, very slow card. That you might get sniped very early because people know how good this is so you might get sniped off very early by like uh, a base players or Kagero or all those they'll just remove this very quickly very very, very. first thing f this will be the first thing that they remove lah so just be careful on that but other than that this is a very very good starter for this deck so the great trees next will be it's a Yggdrasil deck so you gotta have 4 Yggdrasil so you have as much possibility to draw into her she is the main boss of the deck she has a soul blast ability where on attack so blast 6, she gains an extra crit and your opponent can't guard your grid once or higher which is the glory Metron effect uh, her other skill is that when she has another unit in the same column which is like a legion mate la, so legion mate 23 so she's always on a base of 23 so 23 uh, there are at least 2 grade, two grade zeros, and then in this deck it's very easy to bump your vanguard's power up very very high very very quickly so that's why the extra crit is good and also the glory Metron effect is very good so compared to other uh, Guard Restrict clans with the Glory Maelstrom Guard Restrict like Glare and all those I, I prefer, I still like this because uh, unlike Glare, this deck can pump your Vanguard up over 50k uh, on the turn that you, you really really want you finish your opponent of 50k so I really like how this deck plays in place of Glare and all those other great trees I have 3 uh, Angelica so Angelica is the rare of the deck People say that because Angelica so blast three, which is half the cost of it just uh, to to draw two. Her so skill is on right, your Vanguard gains ten k, so blast three and draw two. So people say that Angelica is a drawback for this deck since it uh, minus half of the cost. But in this deck, there's a lot of cards where on call you get to move three cards from the drop zone to the soul. So if you can use Angelica to draw draw into those cards, not only do you not uh, minus your soul. You even get to draw more cards and have a bigger variety of cards to use to guard, to power your vanguard, or to uh, gain advantage in general. So, so I still run the big right. To get paired with the big right, I run one Minerva. So Minerva is here is because like sometimes my opponent grid locks me, or uh, early game I draw I, I draw into this. I might draw into this, and uh, I'm playing against a deck that rushes very quickly like Aqua Force now. With Aqua Force, most of their rear guards uh, swing for 11k. Having to have a cross right, instant cross right by having to write this uh, strike, call discard Angelica for a strike, then call uh, Hemra or Shiny Angel and put her back into soul. At the end of the turn, I have a 13k base Vanguard. That's what I like uh, for like defense against those very, very quick rush decks before even before I get uh, my Igra Seals. So I still run one of her, but I don't run more because I don't have to write her early. She, she, won't, she doesn't plus me late, late game. Unlike uh, Angelica, so I I prefer, I like to write Angelica first, and not just go on with uh, Idrasil, uh, head on kill. So I don't want to write this unless it's a very very emergency situation or I really need the defense that turn. So I only run one. Next, the Great Twos. I run four Hemra. This is the card where she has a skill where on call. She gets to target three up to three. You get that from the soul and add them uh, from the drop zone. Sorry, and add them into the soul. So what this means is that up to 3 means that it's always always, always live and no counter blast and although you must target regalia cards a lot of a lot a lot a big part of your deck are is regalia so it's always there should be always be targets and even though it's up to so it won't you won't be dead even if you don't have that many even if you don't have sufficient regalia units. She is a legion mate for uh Nyx. This she's a legion mate for Nyx, but I, I don't like the this the Nyx you to use the Nyx because like to me she's a very, very slow card. Since uh, 
you need to set like okay, it doesn't match up with her skills. So her skills are good if you if you are trying to rush for early game. But in this deck, I want to focus on killing, not not on trying to rush and dwindle their resources. So she has a skill of uh on Legion if you have if you so blast a copy of your Vanguard, it gains five kill on crit. I, I don't like okay this is very, very good because early game you get to you might be able to uh, get early crit in. And but then she has, her herself she has no to soul charge, so that's one back point. And getting one five kill one crit isn't very very very, very good. Since like if you throw a perfect guy and that's, that's the end of it. And also her second skill which is uh, supposed to, I, I I suppose the one where you tr trigger the the uh, additional 5k one crit which is uh, if you have a hand of 3 or less you get to um, to so bus 3 to draw one card so uh, what I don't like about this is that currently there's a lot of decks that remove cards on the field so the only way you can actually get cards out of your hand which less than 3 by the time you write her is by calling your regards but I don't like calling regards now because uh, there's a lot of field removal or field control aggressive field control from your opponent so calling great guards early game for me is not a very, very good thing, especially if they are great ones. So if my great ones, I can't rush with my great ones because I need them for on call skills or for later, later on when I when I need to finish off my opponent. So I don't like having Nyx as a or more great tree. But I still run the mate because the mate is very very good. The next eight cards they have uh they are non and Hespris. Both of these type of cards they have skills where when they are so blasted they give they give your regular vanguard skills. For now when so blasted she uses our regular vanguard extra five additional five K power which is good like so you have to force more grid zeros out of opponent's hand or might make that extra damage high enough for opponent to no guard it. And also Hespris Hespris is on Soul Blast you gotta give your regular Vanguard uh, the effect of uh, being able to retire one thing when the attack hits. So uh, this is to buy your vanguard so your opponent can, can't um, guard for it and no guards it. This is as my backup or if I have to reuse Minerva. So for this, I will give my I will still so blast this so that because sometimes most of my most of my the times I would try and swing when my opponent at 3 damage with your seal already. So I still need a crit trigger so if I don't get the crit trigger it's a bummer, yes. But uh, I, I still don't want them to have to from there because they have no guards so they have a lot of cards in their hand now. So what I, I don't want them is to have to gain resources gain resource that turn in terms of hand size or in terms of uh, options next turn. So I want to get rid of their field so that I limit their options next turn so I can survive one more time to do one more of Idrasil's effect to go for game. That's why I, li I like this over Freya and also I'm only running one type of Legion. So having Freya is a bit of a... She be a dead sometimes because I'll be sitting on uh, Angelica or something. Also, the thing is, she, since they are not vanilla, so it means that when they are so blasted, they have effects. Having to write one of these means that uh, it's preparing for the for like late game later on. So also calling this and having them bring retired is not too bad since there are a lot of cards to put them into the soul. So you're more or less fueling your toolbox drop zone when you call them and then they die or something. That's why I like the 